Hello, readers. Today we are going to be reading a story. Some of you might already know it. It's called The Little Red Hen by Paul Galdon. As we're listening to the story and reading the story together, see if you can remember what happens. See if you can remember what the little red hen says. And see if you can remember the order of the things. Because later, you might get a chance to act it out. Oh! Okay, let's get started. The Little Red Hen by Paul Galdon. Hmm. Once upon a time, a cat, a dog, and a mouse, and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. Look, there's their mailboxes. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. <laughs> Look, the dog's thinking about the bone. And the mouse likes to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. So the little red hen did all the housework. She cooked the meals, she washed the dishes, she made the bed, she swept the floor, she washed the windows, and she fixed or mended the clothes. So much work for one little red hen. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some little tiny grains of wheat. Who will help me plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Mm, not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. No one wants to help the little red hen. Oh no. Wonder what she'll do. Let's find out. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon, the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. Oh, look, she's taking care all by herself. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. No one's going to help the little red hen. I wonder what she will say. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was cut, the little red hen asked, Now who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. What do you think the little red hen will say? Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. She... The little red hen came back from the mill carrying a small bag of white flour. Who will make a cake from this flour, said the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Oh, look. The cat is sleeping, the dog is sleeping, and the mouse is sleeping. No one's going to help. Then I will do it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered the sticks and made a fire in the stove. She took the milk and the sugar and the eggs and the butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fat flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into the shiny pan and put it into the oven. Soon, a delicious smell filled the little house. The cat got off the couch and strolled into the kitchen. <laughs> the dog got up from the sunny porch and came into the kitchen too. <laughs> the mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. <gasps> Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will, cried the cat. I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. What do you think she's going to say? And the little red hen said, all by myself, I planted the wheat, I tended the wheat, I cut the wheat. 
took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. And all by myself, I gathered the sticks, I built the fire, I mixed the cake, and all by myself, I am going to eat it. Because she did all of the work. And so she did to the very last crumb. And after that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. Look, here they are helping. That, my friends, is the end. What did you think? Did you like the story? What did you think about the little red hen? She did all of the work all by herself. Do you remember what she did? Do you remember the different steps? Have a great time, friends. And tomorrow we are going to be making puppets. Yeah! Bye.